were discussing there's some comments that were made by our Attorney General, Greg Abbott, who's now running for governor. He made some comments about a week ago comparing the, the corruption in the Rio Grande Valley and along the uh, Texas-Mexico border to third world practices. And what the Attorney General has done in, in making these comments is, is isolate and demean uh, an entire community. And what that does is it's very detrimental, one, to what these communities are trying to do in terms of education, what these communities are trying to do in terms of uh, infrastructure, and what these communities are trying to do in terms of economic development. And I, I was uh, immediately critical of the Attorney General because I, I said, you know, there are situations of, of malfeasance and of corruption, for instance, in Austin, in the secret organization of which the Attorney General sits on the Board of Directors, yet you don't hear the Attorney General comparing that to anything at all. And so when we look at these comments and we look at them in the context of who we are and where we live, uh, we're offended, and I'm offended. And I, can, and I think I speak for the gentlemen that are up here as well, that, that they are offensive and they do nothing to move forward the dialogue that we need. They certainly don't show the characteristics of someone who wants to be the governor of the state. They don't show any ended, uh, you know, indice of leadership from the Attorney General. And I would ask this question of the Attorney General. He's been basically the top cop in the state for the last, I think, 12 years, and yet he sees fit now to criticize some of these practices when he was in a position or is in a position to do something about it, and he doesn't do it. And so for him to take this tact at this point and to be critical and to say these things, and not only say them once, but come back and basically double down and say them again, uh, it's disappointing. When he's had opportunities to explain himself on these comments, he doesn't do a good job doing it, and the reason is is because he really means it. And I don't believe the Attorney General would have said something like that if he didn't mean it. And for those of us that live in these regions, you know, we, we're, we're not going to forget, and we understand uh, how politicians like the Attorney General use the border region, use the valley to their own ends, especially when they want to talk about border security, to sell that to, pe to people in Houston, and Dallas, and San Antonio. But the truth is, we're not... Uh, pawns to be bargained with and bartered with in political games with people, and for him to use these comments in this context are, again, isolationist in their demeaning, and uh, we'd ask him to apologize, and we know he's not because he's doubled down, and we're not going to wait, and I'm not going to hold my breath for an apology, but we will remember at the ballot box.